Edward Bunting's a very significant collector of Irish traditional music. Maybe he's the preeminent one. He was one of the first to actually go out and collect music among the traditional musicians of the time. So he started collecting about 220 years ago. There's a very interesting part of the Bunting collection that brings together some military tunes with traditional tunes, and that's what this documentary, Bart Bunting, and this event tonight is all about. Part of what the documentary wanted to explore is what was the context of this. So partly it's because Ireland was heavily militarised at the time. It had also recently transpired that uh, Irish Catholics were allowed to join the British Army for the very first time in the early 1790s. And they would have brought their own tunes with them and they would have learned tunes. Uh, every regiment would have had a military band. It was quite a, an important part of military discipline. And uh, it's possible that that's reflected in the Bunting collection. In the 1790s, the British military would have been one of the few sources that ordinary people would have had access to. They would have done public performances quite regularly. So in some, to some extent, it reflects the sort of music of the people at the time. The ordinary people would have been playing what we now know as traditional music and at different social settings they would have encountered military music as well. Edward Bunting's probably best known for his role in transcribing the music at the Harp Assembly of 1792 when he was a teenager. He was a bit of a musical prodigy, but he then spent the rest of his life collecting traditional music. But he also paid for other collectors to go out and collect military music and traditional music. Anywhere that he heard of a good musician, he would have sent people to them. It was a fascinating project to bring these two different traditions together. It was amazing to see how quickly they were able to interact and read each other, read the room, pick up on the tunes, and not just play a simple tune, but play it with such professionalism and such vigour. Mm -hmm. 